Hello and welcome to GPTV on Tuesday the 26th of May. My name is Gary Peer. You are Gary Peer and I'm Philip Kingston and uh, viewers might note that you've just introduced GPTV because you wanted to do it this yeah. week. And I've got to tell you Gary, exactly. that would have to be the most lacklustre introduction to this week's GPTV, but you've done it, so I'm just going to have to go with it. Philip Regan thinks that we talk for too long on GPTV. He's he sent an email, he, he's gone on ideas at garypeer.com.au and he said, yep. you know, just give us the hard hitting facts in three or four minutes and just basically nick off after that. Okay, well yeah. Regan, Regan, uh, a bit of a shout out to you. Thanks for your Thanks feedback. For we will yep. be completely ignoring your comments, Thank but you. yeah. don't go uh, yes. sending in ideas. We did read them, that yeah. was it. Yeah. Uh, Speaking of GPTV and ideas at GPTV, at garypeertv.com, yeah. No, it's, what is it? Ideas at garypeer.com.au. Yeah, yeah, well, we ran a bit of a competition a couple of weeks ago and we forgot to actually announce the winner, dinner, which was a, a dinner uh, at the Distasio Bar to oh, the value of $200. Yes. We had quite a few entries. Unfortunately, there is only one winner. Yeah. Special shout out to Jason. Your award, your voucher for $200 dinner at the Distasio Bar is coming your way. Well done, and uh, a bit of a challenge to you, Jason. If you feel like some vivacious and interesting company, I would be happy to drop in for a drink with you mm. uh, so you know given the fact that uh, $200 does buy you a pretty good dinner in the Distasio bar congratulations I think, I think he'd rather that you didn't join him Philip but however he will have a wonderful time let's review the weekend let's just get straight into it Phil our clearance rate Gary a tragedy occurred we were on our way to a third week in a row of 100 percent and you know three weeks it would well, have been we, the we just have to pre-frame that because the people watch every week know the last week was 15 out of 15, the week before 17, 17 out of 17. Out of 17. The week before was 19 out of 20. You've got some yes. news on that? Yep, actually, the, that ni that 20th sale has now occurred. That's right. So, that's so a, here we were, 52 a, a, in a row. 52 Pretty in much. a row, yeah. and uh, we had seven on the weekend and unfortunately dropped one clearance. So we mm. were six out of seven. And unfortunately, when we were six out of seven, Gary, we went from 100% and that, that one seventh <laughs> dropped us to 87% clearance yeah. rate. Plum so, Plummeted. Having said that, plummeted. Gary, we still smashed the industry average, we which did. was at 83%. So and 87 smashes 83. It does. And uh, no disrespect to the vendor of the property we passed in, because I'm sure we'll sell it, but it was a studio in St Kilda, yep. which was passed in around in about $170,000. So if you've got a self-managed superannuation fund, that's a little bite-sized investment in the heart of St Kilda, a in. studio for $170,000, $180,000. Under two hundred thousand yeah. dollars. We'll have the price on the screen there, Phil. And uh, what a shame we didn't sell it. But please help us clear our, our get our clearance rate back to one hundred percent and buy a good property on the way. Let's talk about some of the auctions that did happen, Philip. We were in Orong Road, Elstonwick. Uh, on Sunday, like that, a very good auction. That was the first auction uh, on Saturday. You're absolutely well, right, yeah, Gary. Uh, special shout out to the owner of that property. Interesting okay. story, Darren, who hopefully is watching. Yep. Great guy, this yes. Darren. Uh, we've sold for him and his family over the years. Yes. But uh, I remember sitting at a table with Darren many years ago, saying, "Darren, what do you do?" And Darren said, I'm a food technologist. And oh. keep in mind, Gary, uh, I know what technology is. Yes. I know what food is. Yes. But I didn't know what happens when you combine the two. No. And uh, I didn't know what a food technologist was. Nor do I. And I said, Darren, well, that's interesting. But what does a food technologist do? And he said, I worked for a confectionery company. Nice. And I am the man that invented the strawberries and cream sweets. No yeah. Way. So you know Seriously? those sweets? I think it's, uh, wow. what, what's yeah, the... Uh, Ellen's, what, Ellen's, yeah, Ellen's yum. Um, yummy. So uh, strawberries and cream were invented by this man and well, we had a fabulous result for him. Well, Reserve there I think was $460,000 yes, Gary well, and we sold it for $551,000. That was awesome. Smashed the reserve. While you were there I was around the corner just up the road Phil in Caulfield South in Rosalie Street. Lisa Alberts did a great job of handling that file. Uh, the range was 440 to 480. It was a perfect reserve in the middle of the range Philip at $460,000. So, sorry, big pun. The reserve was 440. Yep. The bottom of the range, uh, the first bid 460 right in the middle we were on the market and lo and behold the auction just pumped along Philip and sold for $505,000. Now interesting story there Gary yeah. because Adam Josky an associate of our company well yes. known to the viewers yes. uh, that was the first one of, and he bought in that building also a ground floor courtyard apartment many years ago bought in that building uh, in 1995 yep for $110,000. Right. So it's gone up almost 500%. That's five times yes, in 20 five years. Times. Philip, so for good. those of you that wonder, should you invest in real estate? Absolutely. Phil Murrumbe there's, there's, there's proof and evidence of how successful you can be buying in. And quite frankly, Gary, sorry, 
Nondescript building. I mean, it's a nice building, yeah, but you wouldn't nice say building. that that was, you know, a fantastic piece of real estate. Well, it was very popular, Philip. We had a strong auction and congratulations. And in fact, the uh, underbidder just came on the day, Philip. As That's they do often. At auctions, eight at nine Murrumbina Road, Murrumbina, Philip. That one was sold, two hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars. There, we're expecting somewhere in that two fifty to two seventy-five. Shout range. out to the team at Carnegie who are just. I mean, we've been open there how many weeks now, Gary? Six, like six weeks. Six so, weeks, yeah. and They're they blitzing, are just Philip. smashing two, two it out of I the think, park. Two there. months old. So we're just yeah. loving our Carnegie office. Anybody that's watching that's got property in the Carnegie, Oakley, Murrumbina. Been a Bentley area, Glen Huntley. Yep. Give the Samuel brothers a call. Notting drop Hill. In, drop into our new office. Because Notting Hill. We're back in. It's going gangbusters. We're back in Notting Hill doing another deal. No, we're not. That's Glen Waverley. We're back in. No, Gary. we're actually doing another Notting Hill. It's coming. You oh, don't okay. know about it yet. You think right. you know everything, but you Notting don't. Notting Hill specialists. Come on, move it well, on, Gary. Web, What's next? Web Street on Sunday. Now I've got some footage of this. How about this for a crowd? Check this out, Philip. Number nine. Eight B Web Street. What a sensational property. Magnificent vendors and a fantastic outcome. Massive, massive crowd, as you can see, Philip, that this was a great auction. Tell us, take, take us through it. Well, Gary, first of all, special shout out again to uh, David and Marianne McCallum, who are yes. the directors of DDB Design, one of Melbourne's premier yeah, build, big building companies. They, Philip? they have got a great yeah. reputation because they do great stuff. And, and yep. this is, uh, we've, we've sold for them many times before. Thankfully. And, and the crowds come out to see their work yeah. because it's quite fabulous. That's now, right. uh, we've set a record price for this yes, property $2,270,000. Now, um, if the purchase Purchaser is listening to this, and we hope you are. Yes. Understand that it's only a record price because it's, it's a record property. It's a, and that's the point, you know. Yeah. Um, this record is this is one of the best. Record prices. This is the best property of its type that it I've is. seen in years. So it, it deserved a record price. So it's not as though the purchaser has overpaid for it. No. They've paid what they had to pay yes. to buy a record style and property. And they are GPT viewers. And I know that one of the things they said when they've sat down and signed the contracts is that they don't need to watch the show anymore. But we hope you've watched just one more episode uh, because you have bought something wonderful and we're very happy to review it here. So move it on, Gary. Come Glen on. Glen Road, Phil. That Glen was an Road. exciting sale. It was right around the corner. I didn't even yep. have to shift the car. Just walked a few doors down. <laughs> quite funny. Very convenient. That, quite funny. Yeah. that one. Um, in fact, Daniel Fisher, who left the auction in Webb Street to go yeah. and open up the property in Glen Iron Road, yeah. said that he hated leaving the auction in the middle of it, but he could hear the auction from oh, Glen Iron really Road. A yeah. uh, special shout out to Daniel Fisher, who, Price is who, who, was, who, was, the, who was the person yeah. in our office that brought these clients in. He did, uh, Fine job. And, Fine uh, young man. Sold, sold that for a very, very strong price. Unfortunately, yep. the price is undisclosed, but I can say uh, setting new price barometer and it, I can't really say for setting a new price barometer, can I? Setting a new price level. standard and standard level, level. Uh, yes. for Glen Iron Road. That's the weekend, Phil. There was six out of seven, a pretty good weekend, other than our little ur uh, in St Kilda. But I think before we review what's coming this weekend, and this is a monster, mega, huge weekend. We're talking, I think, 25, 26 auctions. Yep. They don't get much bigger than that. It's a massive weekend. Great way to win the month. Fantastic way to win the month. It's going to be a very exciting May, uh, and it's pre the long weekend. The Australia uh, Queen's birthday. Queen's birthday, birthday again. Yep. Queen's birthday. What are you doing for the Queen's birthday? Celebrating the Queen? Oh no, I like to. I like. Look, I, I'm uh, whilst I'm a Republican viewers, I have a soft spot for our Queen. Yep. Um, and uh, you know, she's no very progressive. Our queen. No doubt, I'll have a drink and celebrate her good yep. health. As you would. Having said that, I think it's important that this country transition from a essentially a colony of the Commonwealth or a colony mm. of, of England. Uh, I think it's time that we graduated to a republic. So yeah, we've taken a uh, Malcolm Turnbull. If you want to rev that up again, you've got my support. We're talking politics, Phil. Let's get into. Well, that's into not really politics, Gary. That's just well, I think this country's matured you know, past somewhere, past, somewhere past being at the beck and call of of Mother England. Somewhere there are T GP TV viewers with a photo of the Queen, a full portrait behind them, steaming right now. Well, why don't why don't <laughs> I be the Republican? You can say that you want to hang on to the Commonwealth. Oh, God bless you, Queenie. Let's get into this week's auctions. Phil, we have 24 auctions 24 over seven auctions. suburbs. Do you know how funny one. that is, Gary? That's 24 auctions in one weekend yeah. across seven suburbs. Yes, you realise in our first year in real estate, yep. we didn't have 24 auctions for the year. <laughs> probably fact, not. I think for the first five years, we are probably lucky probably we had so. 24 auctions. It's very so exciting. we've come a long way, Gary, we and we're still loving it. 
Absolutely. I still feel young and enthusiastic. Yeah, you don't look as young. No, as you oh. no actually. Yeah. Let's Thanks. talk about the results, Phil, uh, that are expected this weekend, because as we roll on to a big one, we start off with 6 at 37 North Cadaver Avenue, Caulfield North. Phil, you are doing that auction. Tell us a little about it. Gary, I love this property and I love the position. Two bedrooms, one bathroom, one lock-up garage. It's light and it's bright and it's in an affordable price range. That is great buying. We're starting that at 9.30 a.m., Phil. Nice and bright and early start. And we've had a few 9.30 a.m auctions and they're great and they're we've, terrific. we've got 20 people coming for dinner on friday night yep. so uh, there you go i don't know i'm going to be a little bit tired so i'll have to have an extra double espresso before that auction I'll give you a wake-up call just in case thank Philip, you we're in jackson street at 10 30 that's in the heart of st kilda jeremy rosens our director of the st kilda office auctions that for glenn bricker gary how cool is jackson street uh, two bedrooms one bathroom one car space uh, jackson street you couldn't get a better position it's right in the heart and thrust of uh, St Kilda. Okay, 10.30, we have a little break there because Phil wanted to adjust my sleeves. It's very, very fuzzy. <laughs> I can't um, get him to dress properly, I just can't. Phil, in Judd Street in Carnegie, our director from our Carnegie office, Leo Samuel Auctions, is fine property, two at seven, go Chris Judd Street. Well, this property will go a lot better than <laughs> Judd at Carlton, and I've got team, to tell yep. you. It's, uh, I, I, think he's, I think he's done, Gary. No, don't be I ridiculous. think he's done. Two bedrooms, one bathroom, one car space, beautifully renovated throughout. This property will perform far better over time than the Carlton Football Club will ever do. A, a, a fantastic landmark, Philip, is Chaucer Street in St Kilda, right opposite the Peanut Farm Oval, very close to the beach. We're auctioning number 44. Fantastic property. You're the auctioneer. Well, your Hearst Gibbs has been involved. Gary, how beautiful is this property? Uh, this really is just stunning. Every room is just a visual feast. Three bedrooms, two bathroom, uh, car parking. Check out that lounge room uh, with the bookcase, the whole wall of All books. The period features. It's just completely stunning. That's a ripper. And every month, once a month, there is the farmer's market. Uh, down in that street, which is another great that? feature, Philip. Uh, we're looking forward to watching that. And you can see it on the St Kilda and Bayside Report, which is on our internet, Philip. It sort of is on a sister... homepage, our Gary. Homepage. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, it is like a sister uh, show to GPTV. Philip, we are in Dorcas Street in South Melbourne. Leon Guzenfitter, Leo Samuels, the auctioneer, take us through this interesting and exciting property. Gary, uh, I love apartment living. This is one bedroom, one bathroom and security car parking. You know, you can really just enjoy being part of the city vibe uh, because you can walk out your front door and you've got all of Melbourne's best facilities at your doorstep. 12.30, Philip, you head from great real estate in St Kilda to fabulous real estate in Elswick, 5 Buxton Street. Tell us about this. Gary, what a stunning house. That's what we would call a picture postcard perfect facade. We would have to call it. Four that. bedrooms, two bathrooms, plenty of off-street car parking there, and a great position. So uh, welcome to Wellstonwick, should you be the lucky buyer. One hour later, Philip, you're back in East St Kilda, this time in Camden Street, another exciting property. Ben Rothschild's been involved with this one. Gary, that has been architect designed and uh, rebuilt virtually under architect supervision, and a special shout out to the owners of this property. It is stunning. Two bedrooms, one bathroom, off-street car parking for one. Uh, and literally walk out your door there in the morning and grab breakfast in bustling and vibrant Carlisle Street, which I love. It's a great spot there, Phil, as is back in Elstonwick. Edward Street, very, very close to Glen Huntley Road and the buzz and hum. Well, that's a pretty house, Gary. Two bedrooms, one bathroom. Edward Street's just a great spot. You can walk to Glen Huntley Road there. Uh, just a great street. And that street just gets better and better. You have the pleasure at 2.30pm, Philip Auctioning, Lucan Street, Caulfield North, right on the doorstep of our office. Gary, that's a stunning apartment. That um, apartment building was completely renovated or almost rebuilt, really, a couple of years ago. This is really what I would describe as the penthouse. Uh, two magnificent bedrooms rooms, two ensuite bathrooms, uh, the most stunning lounge, dining, kitchen, meals area with a, with a wraparound deck that is as good as it will ever get. Phil, we're in Moore Street on Saturday afternoon. Leo Samuel Auctions, this wonderful property, 24 Moore Street. Take us through it, please. Well, how stunning is this? Four bedrooms, yeah, two and a half house. bathrooms, double lock-up garage, parking for extra cars, swimming pool. That's just stunning. That is a great looking property, a unique one, Phil. We're going to bring down the curtain in Carnegie with yourself at 3.30 in Mimosa Road. Take us through this. Gary, great time. spot, Mimosa Road. Walking yeah. distance to all of the area's attractions and very close to Kunang Road. The tram at your doorstep there as well. Two bedrooms, one bathroom. Uh, a lock-up garage. That's uh, really good investment buying, uh, let alone a great place to live. 
Phil, that's a big Saturday wrap. On Sunday, we're starting off again at 9.30 a.m. this time in Kuyong Road. Terrific property. Uh, around the corner from my joint, I don't mind saying, Phil, this is a beauty. You're Gary, doing the auction. right in the centre of the Golden Mile, 923 square metres of prime Caulfield North land. That's three bedrooms, two bathrooms, plenty of off-street car parking. Uh, lots of opportunity there. You could move straight in, you could renovate, or of course, the most magnificent building site. Stanley Parade's a terrific address, Phil. Doesn't turn over very often. Not many homes sell there. No. But this one is selling at 10.30am on Sunday. You're doing the auction for Lemoor. Take us through this Beautifully home. renovated, four bedrooms, two bathrooms, uh, off-street car parking there. I love all of the polished timber floorboards. I love the period detail, but the modern fixtures and fittings. Uh, and you can walk out your door there and all of the cafes at the junction, the Corville Junction, where Balaclava Road hits Hawthorne Road is the spot to be. And of course, uh, the wonderful Corfield Park. You're on a roll, Phil, and you will be on Sunday morning because you've done 9.30 or 10.30, and this is your 11.30 auction at number 201 Orang Road. Gary, great looking property. This property has been magnificently renovated by the current owners. They have done the most incredible job with this property. It was a good property when we sold it to them. They've made it a far better property by doing the most incredible renovation to the ground floor. That is stunning. And I think it'll go well. But Phil! you are still going to be on that roll because you hop off next to Hartley Avenue. Great spot just near the Caulfield Town Hall. Two at night in Hartley Avenue. Take us through Hard this to get a single storey villa unit, Gary, but it this is. is as good as it gets. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, double lock-up garage, one of only two, and the front one is also single storey, so it's got a degree of exclusivity to this to this block. 12.30 is a popular time slot, Phil. We've got another three auctions on at the same time. One of them is at 128 Hotham Street, St Kilda East. This time... We've got Mr Jeremy Rosen's auction. With two bedrooms, two bathrooms, a lock-up garage and a car park in front, uh, that is good property because it's hard to get, once again, single-storey villa homes. There's auction action in Inkerman Road, also 12.30 Sunday. Phil, tell us about this wonderful property. Well, Gary, three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, double a lock-up garage there in a great spot, walking distance to Hawthorne Road and Caulfield Park. That's good real estate. Now, I'd like to review this one myself, Phil. This is 22A Oran Crescent in Caulfield North. I've got the pleasure of being the auction. Here. This is a terrific townhouse, one of only two, Phil. It's got its own street frontage, it's got four bedrooms, three bathrooms, terrific parking set up, and uh, it's a very modern property, Philip, and it's very luxuriously appointed. Yeah. We have done GPTV from there, and well, I'm looking forward to personally doing the auction at 12.30, Phil. Good on you, Gary. On you can Sunday. sneak round to Espresso or Frank and Ginger for a coffee, either before the auction or after the auction. If not both, Philip. Correct. Phil, we're going to have a very strong auction in Railway Avenue. I'm oh, sorry, I should say Railway Road. I'm going to be doing that auction in Carnegie. I get a little bit of Carnegie action myself, and I don't mind it, Phil. 1.30 p.m., I'm going to meet Sally Zellman and the team. Tell us about this Well, Garrett's three or four bedrooms, two bathrooms, double lock-up garage. Uh, that's a fantastic home. No, oh, it's actually not a double lock-up garage. It's a double carport. carport. It is, Phil. I'm actually going to be a bit sad because I won't be able to join you in St Albans Avenue. This is a fine and exciting home. You're going to be auctioning this one at 1.30 p.m. How much Tell us about do it. I love that house, Gary? Yeah, 13 awesome St place. Albans yeah. Avenue. It has been Transport. recently and meticulously and expensively renovated by the current owners who have transformed this house. Four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, uh, plenty of car parking. This is the coolest house. Uh, and it's a very much a madman house, Gary. I yes. know that you didn't watch the series, but no. I did. Well, so yeah, I've, de I've, decided, I've decided because it's of the era yeah. uh, that we're going to serve scotch and right. pass out cigarettes. So I'm going to do pass that. Cigarettes. I'm going to do that oh, auction. That, that's Smoke, going to be really good. Smoking and drinking no, because yeah, it's just good. it just beckons to be done that way. Uh, I don't think so. That's if you'd like happen. a smoke and a drink, viewers, <laughs> come along to that property because yeah. it just beckons to, to so it beckons to have some 60s stroke 70s yeah. debauchery. Don't hold your breath, your alcohol and smoke breath for that one. Uh, but do get to the auction because it's a wonderful property. Philip Maxwell Groves, a terrific address up in Caulfield. Uh, that one's coming up at 2.30pm. You're going to be doing that auction. You've got a big Sunday, mate. Gary, how good's this house? Yeah. It's a big a big family home, four or five bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, double lock-up garage. Uh, and Maxwell Grove is a fantastic spot, so just move straight into that one. Now, I'm sneaking off to this little parkside apartment, Philip, in Melby Avenue. I love this block and this apartment. This is a terrific... It's actually quite a unique property because it's actually two bedroom or three bedroom. It's got its own courtyard, Philip. Uh, we're looking forward to auctioning this one. I've got uh, the auction orders at 2.30 p.m. Ben Rothschild and Arlene Joffe have been very involved in it. And this is a ripper. It's going to be very affordable and I think it's going to be a popular property too. And great spot there, Gary. Looking forward Walking to Walking distance one. to the Green Meadows Park. 
right next door, Phil, 90, uh, I used to hang around there as a kid, Phil, on the bike. 98, Clarence Street, Caulfield South, goes up at 3.30 p.m. The day's a long one for you, but you'll have some energy left for this option. Well, I will, Gary, and we'll have to have the coffee van out this weekend so they can follow for me sure. around from property to property, Keep just pumped pumping up espressos caffeine. into me. This is the most magnificent home, four or five bedrooms, five bathrooms, double lock-up garage, everything there is in as brand new condition because the couple that own it, I think they walk around in just their socks because there's not a chip, in fact, socks and gloves because there's not a chip or scratch there. Well, that's an interesting outfit, Philip. Uh, more vendors perhaps should follow that lead, I'm not sure. But all I know is this, you have got a 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30, 3.30, 3.30 and 4.30 auction this Sunday. Yeah, bring it on, uh, Gary. I'm just... You're talking uh, about mad men. Uh, you are a mad man. I'm just sorry that we yeah. don't have a 5.30 <laughs> exactly and 6.30. Right. Well, maybe we'll slip one in. Phil, we do have a 4.30. We wrap up in Hartley Avenue. We're there a bit earlier in the day, but we're going to be finishing off at this wonderful property i love this street and what a iconic this cool is a house. great house gary the owners have done the most fantastic job in refurbishing this house five we bedrooms sold this once before, we, we did but yeah. i've got to tell you it it didn't look like no, this I when know. we sold it uh, it was in original condition they have just transformed the home five bedrooms two and a half glamorous bathrooms um, parking for two or more cars there and great spot because you can walk out your front door gary jump on the tram or go and have a coffee at, at einstein's as i've said many before times before great location great coffee at Einstein's. My sleeves have popped out again Phil I'm not quite sure what's going on there uh, I'm getting organized he's very fussy about how I, I think need I'm to gonna dress. have to take you shopping again Gary yeah. because really you are letting the standard of this show down by not looking immaculate. Here we are in Kuyong Road Phil we have to review the property that we're sitting on in at with on um, you put me off my game now how about this property Phil in Kuyong Road in Elsewhere. Take us Jerry, through this I magnificent was, showpiece of a home. I was thrilled when Arlene Joffe from our office said yep. the, the people are thinking of selling and she would love to get this house for sale, yep. which she did. But I've driven past this house for years and always admired it because yeah. it's, it's got, got a regal it, Well, look, first look of all, it's feel, just a timeless it? design. It from the, the facade is timeless. It's a classic film. But the owner of this property has just looked after it so yeah. immaculately. You'd almost think it was brand new, yeah. uh, but it's got the, just got the best floor plan. Take Beautiful. Beautiful entertaining yeah. areas. That lounge dining room is amazing, as is this kitchen meals family room. That's I, a spec garden, I particularly by the way. love the way they've got a courtyard in yeah. here, which means that from the lounge dining room and the kitchen meals family room, you look into that gorgeous courtyard underneath that fantastic sail. But the back garden, just stunning. It's it's light, it's bright, it's private, and it yeah. has been magnificently built. It has got the big Q word going all over Philip. The quality is here. This is a beautiful property and what a great location. Yep. Of course, the Huntley Road just over there. But I love the spaces. I love the aspects, Philip. We look forward to seeing you at this wonderful property. Just give Arlene a call. She will be delighted to show you through. And that's a big wrap of the week, Phil. Gary, big weekend. Viewers, stay tuned for next week. Because well, next week's just going to be a review. Because we've got no options upcoming, I understand upcoming, that, Phil. Gary, but a big yeah. test for us this weekend with 24, 25, yeah. 26. I know that we've sold a couple we before have sold auction. A few before. But uh, it'll be interesting to see the clearance rate next week it because will. we've got a big test. That's a volume offering, Philip. It is. And it will be all happening. And we will be keeping everybody informed. It won't be in three or four minutes. I'm very sorry, Regan. But we will be keeping everybody informed. And certainly... We're looking forward to that, seeing you next week with a review. And I don't know, we might have a little chat about something else, Phil, because we haven't got any auctions upcoming, but we'll keep Jeez, everybody informed. a long-winded close. What a long-winded close. I'm Gary Pig, goodbye. I'm Philip Kingston. Have a great week.